there's a famous seaside place called Blackpool that's noted for fresh air and fun. And Mrs. and Mrs. Ramsbottom went there with young Albert, their son. A fine little chap was young Albert, all dressed in his best, quite a swell, with the stick with the horse's head handle, the finest that Woolworths could sell. Didn't think much at ocean, waves are so fiddling and small, there were no wrecks and nobody drowned, in fact now to laugh at at all. So seeking for further amusement, they paid and went into the zoo, where they'd lions and tigers and camels, high and old ale and sandwiches too. There were one great big lion called Wallace. His nose were all covered with scars, and he lay in a somnolent posture, which side of his face to get bars. Now Albert had heard about lions, how they were ferocious and wild. And seeing Wallace lying so peaceful like, didn't seem right to the child. So straight away the brave little fellow, not showing a morsel of fear, took his stick with his horse's head handle and poked it in Wallace's ear. You could see that lion didn't like it. For giving a kind of a roll, he pulled Albert inside that cage with him had swallowed the little lad all. Our father had seen the occurrence. He didn't know what to do next. And he said, Mother, yon lion's at Albert. And Mother said, Me, I am vexed. The keeper was quite nice about it. He said, What a nasty mishap. Are you sure it's you, lad, he's atten? Pa proved it by showing his cap. Well, the magistrate had to be sent for. He took out his glass straight away and said, how much to settle this matter? Pa said, how much do you usually pay? Then Mother turned a bit awkward when she thought where her Albert had gone. She said, no, someone's got to be summoned. So this was decided upon. So off they went to the police station in front of magistrate chap, where father told what had happened and proved it by showing Albert's cap. And the magistrate gave his opinion how no one was legally to blame, and he said that he hoped the Ram's Bottoms would have further sons to their name. But then mother turned proper blazing. I thank you so kindly, said she, what spend all our lives rearing Alberts to feed ruddy lions, not me.